Hello everyone, my name is David, I've been playing chess for over a decade now, and today we're going to learn how to move the bishop. Let's go. So, the bishop is worth 3 points. We have pawns that are 1 point worth, we have rooks that are 5 points worth, but the bishop is 3 points. It's the same amount of points a knight is worth as well. It goes diagonally, which means that it can go 1 square diagonal like that, or it can go all the way along the diagonal. So for example, in this case, it can go to h8 a1 to h2 yeah so all of these squares it can go to this one right so if we count all of them it can actually go to several squares because of that same reason this bishop will always move along in dark squares yeah so it will never touch a light square let's test that so it moves diagonally so let's say i go to c3 that's still a dark square right it went from e5 to c3 so that's a dark square Let's see, let's make another move. Diagonal move to b4. Another dark square. And if we keep doing that, we're going to notice that it's always going to move along dark squares. If this bishop had been in a light square, it would have been the same. The bishop moves and captures in the same way. For instance, if you take a look at this position, can you figure out how many pawns are in danger? So how many pawns can this bishop take? Well, let's, let's, let's go through it. This bishop on the center, can, can it take this pawn? Is that diagonal? No, it's not. That would be a knight move, in fact. So if you don't know how to move a knight, you can check out one of my videos. Is this a bishop move? No, that's not diagonal. That's a weird move. Diagonal would have been this. It's very close, but it's not there. What about this pawn? Is this diagonal? Yes, it is. So this bishop could move... And take this pawn. And last but not least, can this bishop take this pawn? Yes, you can, because it's diagonal. So it is possible to, to make this move. And once again, one very easy way of knowing that this bishop cannot take these two pawns, it's that they're in light squares, and the square that this bishop is at is a dark square. So that that just makes sure that guarantees it's impossible. That would be illegal. And one more important thing. Bishops cannot jump over other pieces there's only one piece in chess that jumps and that's the knight so for example this knight could go to f3 it jumps over these two pawns or this knight could jump yeah so knights can jump in order to move this bishop you you can't jump the pawn you have to move the pawn first let's say black plays e5 and then you can move the bishop thank you very much for watching this video i hope you learned something if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and if you're more interested in chess, you should check out my other videos where I teach as much as I can. Thank you very much.